Ah, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're uh, doing well. Got this guy set up just for you. Let's go. All right, I hope everybody is doing well and uh, that you're, you're staying safe out there. I know, crazy world, I'm with you. My rooster's with you. We're in this together, as they say. And what I'm gonna do here today, this is about really how to get good. And you've seen this, this is the Titleist Ladder Challenge. And you've seen some of the videos online on social media of different people knocking the boxes off. How many shots does it take to get all of them off? Some have three, four, five different cases. I have eight here and I've been doing this, practicing a little bit. It's not easy. Check it out. So as you can see, uh, it takes a lot to get it. It's hard, it's harder than it looks. And what I wanna go through today is the benefits of this. And then if you like this video, make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you're you know notified every time a new video from me comes out. Appreciate the support. And this little guy is really, really cool. And just to show you the benefit of doing this, I, I had been practicing this for a while, just trying to get it down. And it's great practice at home. And when I went to the course out in Arizona, I'll show you some clips of some of the chip shots I had. Oh, just right in front. Ooh, that was good. So why does your chipping get so good? This is a fantastic drill to do at home because it teaches you the most valuable lesson when it comes to short game, and that's energy and power into the ball, okay? And it's not about going and just practicing at the course all the time, shot after shot after shot after shot after shot, here to there to there to there. It's about getting into you, mem muscle memory of how much energy a shot requires. And this is a perfect way for you to develop that feel without going anywhere other than your house. So I've got my SM8 wedge. This is a 54 degree. Doesn't matter what club you use, I want you to use the same club, practice it with different clubs, okay? And so when I'm on course, um, what I'm doing is you always wanna land the ball somewhere. And this, I know that if I need to hit that bottom one, okay, that I'm only landing it a little bit past it. How much energy is required for that and what type of shot to get a low, a low shot that's just gonna land just past that little box, right? So I knew that was, okay, that was a little too much. And now I'm really getting precise about how much energy each shot takes. That hit the box and the, uh, and the, uh, the ladder at the same time. Once again, right over it, you can tell that this is not easy. There's more space of the box than there is of the gaps. So it's really, really difficult to get it perfect. And you get it and you're like, okay, cool. 
and what am I doing differently for the next shot? That first one is just right here, ball's a little back and I'm just right in here. And you would be surprised how focused and precise you get at making contact with that ball. And now I'm just gonna maybe not have the ball so far back in my stance. I'm gonna just kinda go a little more forward of that. There you go, got it. And again, now I'm gonna go a little more forward and just a little more energy and I'm feeling that. I'm going touch higher. Oh, that was the right kind of energy. It just missed it to the right. So I want the exact same thing again. Oh, you can see how difficult this is. Got it. And now I'm gonna open the face a little. So I'm having the same setup and I'm just gonna open slightly. Open, readjust my grip. And now I'm having the, basically the same swing from here on out. At least the next two or three, I'm just opening the face a little bit more for each one. Oh, right through. And it's not the same exact shot again. You can see like this takes a lot, a lot of practice to be able to get it. There you go. But even if that's all you do, Okay, that's all you do when you, when you get to go out on the course, if there's a course open near you or next time you get to go play, your short game and your little chip shots are gonna be phenomenal. Even if you practice off a mat, it's no big deal. As you get, you know, just off the green, you're gonna have lies sim similar to this. That was a good one. Now I'm opening that face, moving the ball a little more forward. Oh, that was close. You might want to back it up on your mat just a touch. And it gets very, very difficult as you get higher. You might want to switch a club. I like to stay with my 54 for this just because it's so much easier for the shorter ones and I can just open the face a lot to get up high. And you're going to have the greatest touch ever. I'm trying to trying to do this uh, little little game, this ladder challenge. Two more to go. Can I even get it in this video? It's not easy, that's for sure. You can see as you get up there, this requires a whole different shot. You gotta really open that face, commit to the shot, and follow through a little bit more with the ball a little forward in your stance. Oh, I got the top one, hit the ball over my fence. So that's a, um, one of the hazards of doing this drill. Balls could go, oh, I thought I had it. Balls can go over your fence, so you gotta be careful with that one. So work on this little drill, this ladder challenge until you're able to get them all. And your feel, your touch, your, your, your um, skill around the short areas are going to be amazing. You're gonna have phenomenal touch and feel like you've never had before. Oh, right over it. But this is, you know, this is why you practice. It's not so much about getting them all, it's about just learning how um, to play different shots and getting better. I was getting really good at this one. And it's just a matter of time before you, you hit the box and not everything else. There you go, got them. So that's the Titleist ladder challenge drill. Get boxes if you don't have eight cases of Titleist Pro V1s, that's fine. Uh, put something there to try to practice with and just need your wedge, adjust your ball position, adjust the uh, face angle, open close, and adjust how far your follow-through is and when you go play, 
you're going to see a dramatic, a dramatic improvement in your short game. So hopefully you like this little, uh, this little drill. You've seen it around on social media. It's not just for fun and games. It's actually going to improve your game. Amazing, amazing results. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, bell, do all this stuff. Links below for things that uh, you may or may not want. Good luck out there. I love you guys. See you next video. I hit a ball over the fence. Can you go get it? Do you really hit? It's Pro V1. No Pro V1 left behind. Thanks. That was, that was Got it. <laughs>